Yes, uh, these are final tales from Gunberg. This is a Brooklyn story. Yes, my brother, man. Greetings, greetings, man. Right now, I got a lot of stories, but it's a lot on my mind right now. I really can't focus right now, but blessings. Good money. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, man. I'm just saying, I just can't focus right now. Yeah, why, why are you ready to take off on your bike? We'll see you later. Okay. Safe journey. Make sure nobody take your helmet. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. I ain't leaving my helmet like this no more. Like well, somebody will snatch your helmet. This is Brooklyn, and people gonna try. A come up is a come up. <laughs> and I, 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 I look at it like this too. It is what it is. You just gotta protect your shit. If a motherfucker take that shit, I can't be mad. If I leave my bike, somebody steal it. Wow. Remember, remember back in the days, yo, you leave shit. your bike at the corner store yeah. and somebody does take it. Nigga, take it quick. And you know what? I used to be the same thing too. I take your bike. Too. <laughs> take that shit on. Used to. Oh. You know, we used to always do stuff like that as kids, man, in Brooklyn. Yeah, family out, you know. Ride your bike for like two days, probably just leave it back right on the same corner. Somebody else catch me for the same bike I caught. So. <laughs> you know, so family, uh, we're not children anymore and, uh, and things like that. But, you know, some of these are tales from when we were younger, you know. But uh, still got some good tales, yeah. man. Some, back in like, like th 30 years ago. The first hustle we had, I remember E, he used to work for um, Brooklyn Terminal Market. Um, the watermelon. We used to yeah, unload yeah, we used to unload, un un unload the watermelon trucks. Forty to sixty dollars. Then we truck. and then we used to go to the supermarket and, uh, and pack bags. Pack bags. We're, 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 like Bravos. we're like teenagers. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how we used 11, to make money. That's how we used Come to make money back then. <laughs> we do two trucks for the day. That's, even though it's strenuous work, trust me. Remember them days, man? Remember those days. Man. And then we had to walk all the way from uh, from East New York all the way to uh, like Canarsie. Like Foster, like Foster. What is that? Foster. I, th I thought it was like Canarsie. It is Canarsie. But that's over there like Brooklyn Foster. Terminal Market. Yeah, Brooklyn Terminal Market. It's on Foster, right, Shana? Because that's where you get your fish from. But on oh, the side the block. Um, yeah, the, the market that got all the fruits. They got like Christmas trees, Foster. watermelon. Look at these two right here. <laughs> And he got all this energy. You better be ready back when we get back to Georgia to get to work. I'm putting in hard labor. And you tell my child, you tell my, what do you say? My sister asked you, do you get paid? What do you tell her? So all this expenses, all the money you get to you. What do you, what do you tell you, Shana? It says something about child labor. So, so you don't get paid. What do you say? Come on, you're always being slick. I'll get paid and this is child labor. Child labor what? So it's more than a child, child labor. What? Uh, we're, we're violating child labor laws because we have you on a tour, enjoying eating lobster dinners and hanging out <laughs> and sleeping on the bus. And happened the time of my life, yeah. and I owe it all to Bow Money. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the time of your life, brother. Woo. Lobster dinner. Yeah, man. Crazy. Yeah. Hey, this child talking about child, he's talking about child labor laws. He's on a tour living life. He's not working hard like you think he is. He's funny. Just enjoying what he do, man, and that's it. And that's because of our hard work and hard labor. Boy, be careful before you hurt yourself. Yes, so you know, unfortunately, oh, family, see. we're doing a short layover here in uh, New York, uh, checking out my family. And it's one of those things uh, where you know, everybody came through to, to connect with me because, uh, you know, we don't always see each other ever. So all of us are together for the first time in a long time. And when my parents get here, it will just be more of us. So family, uh, the journey continues and this is our energy. Um, we just came fresh from our Liberia and Morocco roots and culture journey of a lifetime. So family, uh, this is our t-shirt. And as usual, we have our great design, Bomani Dakari. Say hello to the people, say hi. 